Hi everybody, I'm Ron from Full Time Dream. Judy's behind the camera. And today we had a subscriber, a couple of subscribers ask us to check out this camper. We've got Andrew Fleischer and Shimmy Berkowitz who asked us to check this out for him. This is a 2022 Forest River 5, 26 BH. And it's a bunkhouse model and we'll go ahead and go through what we've got going on here. We'll start out in the kitchen. The kitchen's got a farm, the farm type sink set down into a solid surface countertop. It does have a place for your dish drying rack to go in. Put that down. You got the, the faucet that goes like that. You've got counter or cupboards up above the, the countertop. We've got all Furion appliances. So we've got the Furion uh, microwave up above. We have a three three burner propane cook step cookstop and an oven. And they made the bottom drawer match the oven so that it fits in. That's for where you put your pots and pans. That looks really sharp. Now the Furion refrigerator is a 12 volt refrigerator. And it has a one hour cool down, which makes it, it means that it's very efficient in what it does. When you get started up and get the thing going, it only takes an hour for it to cool down to the temperature. And we'll go keep on moving along. We have a great big pantry space next to the refrigerator. And the door is made open up at the top so you get some air circulation so that your, the um, food that you have in there, stuff for your s'mores and all of that, doesn't overheat and melt. Next to the pantry, you have the bathroom. Now the bathroom was made so that you can enter it from inside the, the camper or you can come in or you can come in from the outside with a door there. I don't want to pull it. I know it opens, but I don't want to pull it open. Oh, I like the black faucets. And the black, that's nice. I like this. Yeah. This thing is pretty cool. And it's got a full-size shower. Nice it does shower. not have a tub. Like a lot of the bunk models have tubs. This one doesn't have a tub. But if you have kids and you have small kids, you can probably put an inflatable in that bottom because it's really big. The bunk area has got actually two pretty good-sized bunks. We have the ladder going up to the up above. Which is attached. It's, it's attached solid. We have an outlet for each one of the um, bunks, and you have storage space underneath. We're coming around to the slide side of the um, camper. The slide comes out on the on the passenger side, the driver side of the camper. This is a U-shaped U-shaped dinette. Need a bigger dinette like this for a family when you've got a bunkhouse like that. We have storage underneath of both sides. You can fit all kinds of stuff in there. And a nice fixture. Got some curtains and blackout curtains. Blackout curtains. Dinette also drops down into a bed area so that if you have extra kids, your friends, your kids' friends you have your kids' friends come along with you, you got extra sleeping space. Then on top of that, you have a very nice sleeper sofa. Pick it up and you can see that the, that pulls out. Coming around. 
you're going to see a great big 50 inch television. You have cabinets underneath it for storage. You have a 30 inch Furion uh, fireplace. Also heat. This also does heat. So we have a cabinet right next to the door coming in next to the entertainment center. Now we're going to go into the bedroom. Now this is interesting how they did this door. The door actually pivots on a, up on top and on the bottom so that it takes up less room. bedroom over on the on the driver's side there's a wardrobe and hang clothes in there's a nice shelf right here next to next to the bed we have a little cubby with USB charging and all that and outlets up above we have a bunch of cabinets On the other side, there's quite a spot left open so that if you have a CPAP machine, you can hook up. There's also a USB charging up above there. You have a little bit of a cubby there. Turn around and you have more of a wardrobe going on right in that area. Okay, we really can't do an awful lot about walking around outside to show, but we can do say or tell you that there is an awning that goes pretty much the full length of the, the camper that is all power, it's a power awning. We want to thank both Andrew and Shimmy for um, requesting this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a, a comment down below. We're going to be here for a couple more days. If you have a certain camper that you'd like to um, be checked out, let us know in the comments. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Share the video out. And We'll talk to you later. Bye now.